Did a little frog. There's a raccoon right there. Really, there's a hole there, dude. Welcome to Louisiana Outdoor Experience. So, one of the historical things that have always happened in Louisiana, and what has built actually this country, is trapping. We're going to try to start trapping with my neighbor Vinny. I'm going to talk about the traps we use, the tools we use. Now, fair warning, this intro was filmed after the actual video was filmed. If you watch the Crazy Calm Day fishing video, that explains why this is done this way, but let me show you what we got. The kit from Cabela's that I bought comes with six of these Bridger dog-proof traps, um, a trap setter, and a coon lure. And that's all it comes with. There's a few more items you have to buy, but we'll talk about them a little bit later. If you're wondering about how ethical trapping is, um, the best practice management actually look at so when if you want to have a how ethical trapping is you have to remember fur bearers will reproduce at an extremely high rate and a lot of them carry diseases such as raccoons which will carry rabies and things like that my neighbor has chickens and they're actually getting into it as you see you'll see later in the video the raccoons really don't care where they're coming through in this area. But let's talk about these tra these dog-proof traps, which for the most part they're all made the same. If you look inside, they have that little ring in there. So that little ring is connected to this, which is the holds the catch. And what it does, let me show you how to set. So to set this trap, what you're going to want to do, put the setter there behind the screw, push it down against and then once you get it put the latch inside the hole here and the way it's triggered trying to make sure y'all can see this the way it's triggered I use it the raccoon will reach in if I can pull up on it and that's when I hit my finger with it pull up and it holds it just like that with just tension on it. It won't cause any damage to coon. The coon can be re-released. It won't break any bones. Other items you will need to buy with the kit is a quick link. And what that does is so you can attach it to the swivel here. I'm using, they call them wolf track stakes. You can also get some little cable like this and make a big loop enough to pass the trap through. Just wrap it around the tree. As you'll see in the video in a little bit, I didn't have the right driver. I now have the right driver I've since bought. This is a wolf fang driver, or wolf foot, whatever it's called. Um, but as you can see, there's a notch there. It fits just like that and holds it in. And then what you'll do, take your hammer, beat it down into the ground as deep as you can get it. I'll sink it all the way up to the quick link. Um, but, so, it'll go through like this. Say that, but like my, I'm gonna use my fingers as it. And then, so it'll go through, you pull it at a 45 degree angle, and then it anchors it using that way. They can be pulled back up, but they do make anchor pullers if you wanna pull your anchors, but these are actually considered disposable anchors. I don't like leaving anything out in the woods. You can use a regular hammer to drive it. I recommend though getting you a trapping hammer. And the reason is, is a trapping hammer has the flat head for striking the driver. When For when you start setting other traps and you got dig holes, it has something to bust it. And this is a three in one and the handle is actually a little shovel. I also carry a small crescent wrench on my bag. This is the bag I bought, it's a waterproof bag from Academy, big enough to store everything, pretty comfortable. Let's talk about what I'm using as a lure. So we're using some miniature marshmallows, they fit nicely in the traps, and I'm using almond extract, Vinny's using vanilla extract, and we've caught the same amount of coons. So I don't think, I think the extract just kind of gets the scent out there, gets them coming to you. I'm going to go grab the Predator kit real quick and we'll talk about it and what it comes with. This actually comes with these uh, Bridger one and three quarter traps, foothold traps, double cold spring traps. The steak is actually made onto this one. So, and it comes with the steak drive, which is different than the last, than the other set of the, the wolf foot ones. 
So this one, it slides in just like that. Drive it into the ground, and same purpose as the wolf foot ones. It turns sideways in the ground, and it's stuck just like that in the ground. So I'm going to show you how to set these. They're a little bit more difficult, but hopefully I can get it without snapping my finger. Grab the dogs on each side, push them down. Flip your jaws open. Put pressure on the jaws. Flip the holder open. And that should be set. Let me show you how this is activated. I'm going to actually take it off the four-wheeler. Whatever animal it is steps in here and just like that. Push pressure on the pad. Snaps it shut. Well, some more items you may want is a catch pole. Um, and a piece of plywood with handles on the inside of you with a notch cut out to go over the foothold trap and the foot of an animal that you don't want to catch. So stay tuned for our f for the first time I go out trapping. Um, you'll see some of the mess ups I have. When Hurricane Ida came in it pushed some floatal in. That looks like ground but that's actually ground level. I got about an extra four feet of mud over the, most of the woods out here which makes it difficult walking but this is a live trap that one it steps on a plate flips down that's actually a raccoon track um and that's literally right next to my house it's kind of frogs are out that means the snakes are probably out so i need to keep my eyes out for them um the reason i'm walking in what looks like water and kind of a watery area here is because raccoons tend to wash their food found a half decent track that's So, I had to go run back to the house and get Vinny's driver for my steak because the one I had wasn't the right kind. But anyway, we're about to get this trap set. Right, so now that we have the trap set, I'm going to put some marshmallows and a little bit of almond extract. I mean, yeah, almond extract on a stick. So, put a couple in there below the things that I got to grab them. probably label this almond extract for trapping only because I'd hate for the wife to grab it after I just shoved the stick in it and if that ever happens guys we don't tell the wife or should we tell the wife I don't know I just set my trap right down in there but I wanted to show you all that seems to be a trail running down into there so we are heading back into the marsh. Well, side of our house that used to be woods and now is marsh. To check some raccoon traps that I put out yesterday. Um, I'm actually with my neighbor Vinny. And we're going to kind of be doing this whole trapping thing together. Because every day we have to check our traps. And with between our schedules, we should be able to track them almost every day. Check them every day. So, let's see if we got any. I'm approaching the first trap and there it is. Nothing in it. We are 0 for 3 tonight, guys. That's the fourth trap. We are 0 for 6. Hopefully that front will get these raccoons moving and we'll get us some. But, stay tuned. Day number 2 of running the traps. I'm already out here and the first trap is negative. Well, it is a hole there, dude. There's a hole there, dude. Fourth we'll trap of the morning. And there's a raccoon right there in the trap. Oh, I'm gonna dispatch this animal and we'll pick it up after. We're taking the raccoon carcass, setting it out. Well, we know they have some coyotes moving. We're gonna try to see if we can get some of them on a trail camera. Uh, so I'm filming on my iPhone currently because I forgot the camera inside it. We pulled some raccoon traps earlier and as you can see there, 
had some issues, so I am not going back in my house until I'm ready to go change. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to pick up one of these cool hats, I have a link in my description below to Fishy AF's website to where if you use the code FRANKAF, you will get 15% off your first order. So, love this hat. I got all kind of, it's really warm. Actually, it's the first time I can wear it, so I'm excited. The trail cam there. The carcass there. That is, oh, is actually staked down so that the first coyote or vulture comes over, just doesn't run off with it. But also set a raccoon trap a little bit further down here, but we'll sh I'll show you that on the way out because I forgot to film it. Check our traps again today. Um, if you remember yesterday, when we caught the coon, we were in short sleeve shirts. Um, then that night we went put out the coon carcass from that coon and we were in some heavier clothing and now you can see i'm actually in my heavy my warm hunting jacket that's waterproof and my bibs because it went from being 75 80 degrees yesterday to 36 degrees this morning what a change what a change put out a carcass down this road to see if there's any coyotes that's a big old pile of scat and what's really cool is this is a another set of bones here that's not from our carcass this is why the carcass was staked down they're in a feeding frenzy got two raccoons checking out a dead homie here Yes! We got a coyote! Yes! And he's marking his territory. So, if you're wondering why, Frank, I didn't see you in the woods, that's because we caught nothing. We were going to clean that coon up and cook it. Well, we did just that last night. And let me tell you, as long as you get all the scent glands out, it is excellent. I'm going to leave the link to Vinny's video for cooking that coon and the link down below. And me and my wife have a debate right now. Drummed her face. And my wife says, I cut off her eyelashes. Do dogs have eyelashes? Leave the answer to that question below.